Dear students, in this session we are going to discuss about PLL FM demodulator. It is an indirect method of FM demodulation or FM detection and here we are using phase locked loop for demodulating the input FM signal. So what is PLL? PLL means phase locked loop. In the previous method that is in the case of direct method of FM demodulation we are using tanked circuit in order to get the AM signal from the FM signal then it is enveloped detected to get the original information signal but in this case of PLL FM demodulation it does not require tuned circuit and it automatically compensates for the changes in the carrier frequency due to the instability in the transmitter oscillator see here let us see the block diagram of the PLL FM demodulator and here there will be an FM input signal you can see here that is having the frequency source frequency FS that is represented by FS and it is given to the phase detector actually phase detector is a phase comparator and the input given to this phase detector is coming from the VCO also the output of the VCO is F out and the phase detector output is an error signal that is shown here and that output is given to the DC amplifier so amplified error signal is obtained at this point and that signal will be given to the low pass filter and it is given as the output which is the audio frequency signal or original modulating signal obtained from this FM signal and that audio frequency signal is again given to the voltage controlled oscillator that is VCO that is voltage controlled oscillator that is given as input to the phase detector let us see the working detail the phase locked loop is basically a negative feedback system and it consists of a phase detector DC amplifier low pass filter and voltage controlled oscillator that is VCO and that all connected together in the form of a feedback loop you can see here this act as a forward path and the feedback path is given like this so VCO appears in the feedback path so basically the PLL is a negative feedback system that means the feedback signal is subtracted from the input signals so that we here we will be getting the error signal so here the VCO is a sine wave generator VCO means voltage controlled oscillator oscillator will produce a particular frequency or generate a wave so here VCO is a sine wave generator and its frequency is determined by the voltage applied to it from an external source you can see here that the VCO produces an output frequency F out and it is depends upon the input applied to this VCO so here the input is applied from the forward path of this block diagram right so based on the input signal applied to this VCO the output frequency is varying so the phase detector developed an error voltage proportional to the frequency difference between the input FM signal and the VCO frequency and here at the, after the phase detector there is an a DC amplifier and that DC amplifier amplifies or it increases the error voltage to a particular level that is needed to drive the VCO signal because see here the DC amplifier output is given to low pass filter then again it is given to VCO so this DC amplifier amplifies the error signal given as the input to this DC amplifier and it will be increase the amplitude of this error signal to a particular level which is required to drive this VCO signal so the error signal is then coupled to the, to the low pass filter after the DC amplifier the error voltage from the filter is used to control the VCO signals see here DC amplifier error signal that is amplified error signal is applied to low pass filter and the output from this low pass filter will be given to the VCO again so it will be a particular modulating voltage or voltage signals at the output of the low pass filter based on the voltage the VCO will be producing other frequencies okay so at the output of the low pass filter we will be getting the new modulated output of this FM signal the 
see let us see the detailed working if the input frequency swings above the fs or source frequency an error voltage is generated by the phase detector and that will be amplified and then fed to the filter after that that signal will be applied to the vcu that is the basic working see in the case of a pll if the input voltage input here the frequency is the parameter if the input frequency is greater than the source frequency fs then there will be some difference between this frequency so there will be an error produced at this signal that means fs minus this frequency will produce a difference so it will be taken as a error signal that error signal will be amplified at this detector what is the meaning of this error signal that means there is a difference between the frequencies of these two that is its meaning so to nullify that frequency error an error signal is produced that error signal is applied to the vco so that vco is corrected by that error signal again it produces a frequency corresponding to this error fre error frequency error signal so that means previously there was a frequency and that frequency is corrected by the error signal so that the vco frequency may be increased or decreased based on the signal obtained here so that the difference between them is reduced when it works as a loop the error voltage will cause the vco frequencies to increase in an exact lock with the input frequency when the input signal frequency is modulated vco tracks the fm deviation exactly and resulting error signal is an exact reproduction of the intelligent signal and hence we get the demodulated output from the output of the low pass filter that is the control voltage is the demodulated output see here here we are first explaining the phase locked loop working corresponding to the ordinary signal that means whenever a signal is given that signal will be compared with the vco frequency and if there is any error that means there will be some changes between the vco frequency and this frequency so that will be corrected by the error signal so that that error signal will be applied again to the vco based on the value of that error signal vco frequency may be increased or decreased so that it will nullify the difference that is a proper working of the pll in the case of frequency modulator input actually what is taking place in the phase detector is that it calculate the difference between the frequency deviation if there is any difference in this frequency deviation there will be some error signal produced so this error signal will be the difference between these two that means it is actually the demodulated signal or original intelligence or information signal and that will be amplified this dc amplifier and that amplified signal will be given to the low pass filter so that it will be passing only the low frequencies not the higher frequencies that means at the output we will be obtaining the audio frequency signals not the higher frequency signals and if it is not corrected then that will be fed to the vco and vco will produce a corresponding frequency based on the input received so that error will be corrected by the vco in a continuous locking process so that is explained here the error if the when the input signal frequency is modulated then the vco tracks the fm deviation exactly and the resulting error voltage is an exact reproduction of the intelligent signal hence we get the demodulated output from the output of the low pass filter that is the control voltage is the demodulated output see in the working whenever it, here the input is frequency modulated signal the difference between these two will be the similar to the that means error signal will be the intelligent signal or modulated signal because whenever we are finding out the error signal that, that will actually calculate the difference between the frequency deviation of this vco output and this phase detector input so that error signal will be amplified and that amplified error signal is given to the low pass filter whenever there is any higher frequency components that will be blocked by this low pass filter that means output of the low pass filter will be a audio frequency signals so that we will be getting the original modulated signal at the output so this is the working of the pll demodulator and here the demodulator signal is obtained by the continuous 
loop process and here there is no requirement for the uh, tank circuit that's all about this topic thank you